Hello everyone, my name is Clawmaster and I'm here with another episode of Behind the Scenes, episode 3 of my online miniseries that I conducted of The Adventures of Clawmaster or the pre-sequel to the supposed debut of Clawmaster. Now in this episode I'll be talking about again my thought process and how I made the episode but if I, ha if I have the file, which I believe I do, it will be the behind the scenes look not only of how I made it, but what exactly did I do in the video. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, so in terms of episode 3 idea, so what the episode was about was again another week, another trying to figure out what type of way I can expand the lore in. I decided to expand the relationship between Clawmaster and Eli, his mentor. At this point, I had no name for Eli. Uh, I, I just put down mentor and just like I figured a father figure or something to that matter overseeing Clawmaster's training. So in that aspect, I think this was the first time I actually wrote his, uh, his name during the, uh, the whole lore video series. And... The idea came about in terms of like, you know, how exactly can I expand upon this again of having, you know, no two models. I have one model done of Eli, but I don't have the model done for my current character. So I decided to make it like a phone call. I mean, I feel like that's probably the easiest way to do so. And then able to put on some visual element to kind of showcase who is talking, who's not. And the relationship between the two is at first when I started creating the idea when I was writing down the entire storyline of how how exactly did these two fit each other the inspiration came from Batman Beyond in terms of uh, Clawmaster is pretty much Terry McGinnis and uh, Eli is Bruce Wayne uh, old man Bruce Wayne I should say uh, <laughs> and uh, kind of the back and forth banter in that aspect and I Started from there, but I kind of leaned into Clawmaster again. He's the he's a cocky type, kind of being kind of the uh, annoying person to Eli. Uh, just give him shit just because. Uh, and it's not that like you know I, he gives him shit because he wants to, but it, you know he gives him shit because he he loves him. You know, to, to him Eli is his, pretty much his father. So. That type of relationship, I kind of went in that direction, and that's why you see in the video, um, in terms of, uh, you know, this back and forth between the two, and you know, him calling him old man, and just like you know, these quick corpse, kind of like it almost. If if it's not Batman Beyond, I, I can think of it's like Batman Beyond plus Spider Man, and um, uh, oh man, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> Oh, not, not Iron Man, but um, uh, I forgot his name. The <laughs> I, I, the name escapes me, but the one who basically made the adventures, um, kind of the banter back and forth in that type of relationship. So that was the direction that I wanted to go with, and I think that uh, as long as I can produce and I can keep up with with that voice, then yes, I, it will work, <laughs> one way or the other. Uh, so again. A cell phone call between the two and subtitles in terms of like, you know, hey, he's talking to him, he's talking to you. Um, and uh, the thing that I, I also wanted to throw in there is, and it, and it very much was inspired by Iron Man, this is shown much more in episode four, was the idea of the whole scene where Iron Man and Iron Man 1, I want to say, where he he gets his suit, like he's he's about to go in it, and it's an entire process of each plate put it into his body, and like it's a really cool scene. You have the screen pan around of him, the, the 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 suit coming onto him and just forming his suit, and it's really cool to look at. Um, that was the idea I had in mind when it came to the end scene of this episode, where you see a sneak peek, you see like a. Uh, a loading bar and then able to see afterwards the um, the uh, schematics per se in terms of the full character reveal and this was actually the first episode where because um, at this time I had 
received, I want to say a day or two ago, the, uh, the, the commission I, I got on Skeb, uh, which I will go ahead and make sure to show the person who did the art, which is awesome. Thank you again. Um, and showcase the uh, character art because at, at this point I didn't have anything. I didn't have any character art. I didn't. I had a logo maybe, and then that was about it. I had I had my PNG or maybe at, at, at this time, but I didn't have much of anything. So this was actually the first time I unveiled the character reveal of Clawmaster in his full form and in, in his character art. Um, so that was really cool to see, and you know I really enjoyed the uh, the characterization of him and. I really enjoyed it in the kind of direction that my VTuber model is going to be. And, um, yeah, like, once his character art was shown in a sketch, uh, you very much, you see, like, the, the, again, like, the Tony Stark hologram uh, schematics pop up on screen as it, show, it reveals uh, his, uh, what he looks like. And then it snaps from that into the debut day, which didn't happen. But that was the general direction that I wanted to. This very much was establish more of a relationship lore episode between the two characters. And then on top of that, reveal character art of what Clawmaster officially looks like. Uh, using a type of Iron Man schematic sci-fi method. Which I really dig and it's really cool to look at. So, with that being said, uh, let me go ahead and show you how this is done i believe i did this in after effects in premiere pro but let me double check and i'll be right back all right so here is the behind the scenes look and i believe yes this is the after effects version um for i don't want to say disclosure but i honestly prefer after effects more premiere pro just because i've been using it longer and it allows me to do a lot more stuff um but i use both uh for obvious reasons so I guess the first thing I want to say is that the obviously if you were if you're going to showcase who is talking, there are multiple ways to do it. I think the easiest way to do it uh, would be having some sort of um, <laughs> audio visual aspect. I said that in the last episode, uh, but basically uh, audio waves in terms of who's talking, so that you know who exactly is talking. And so as I said before, in terms of color um the the color association when it comes to these characters claw master again red eli which i kind of said was already blue uh like the villain uh a different shade of blue but for this instance i just kept it blue just to make it easier on on people who want, who want to see it so obviously we have them talking uh this is basically the main part of it um and then there's this part of it that also as well. So the uh, center part that was done in Premiere Pro in terms of why do you don't see that thing popping up. And part of the reason for that direction is I was thinking of a how would a, a iPhone or a cell phone be today. And obviously it's a dumb question to ask, but yes, I thought about it. And obviously the thing I needed to do was make that same notification in terms of when it pops up you see the face you see the buttons to answer the call and then what it looks like afterwards and i'll show you that in premiere pro version but in this after effects version we got two lines here uh both uh, red and blue both audio uh so what i did is i had recorded separate lines for each for each character i put them together in uh, after effects um actually if you want to see here are the different lines I said in uh, for Clawmaster's part, and then uh, I'm gonna get rid of that, get rid of that real quick, and then here was Eli's lines. So I went to Audacity and I recorded each line separately and I put them together in After Effects so they have to back and forth. Easy thing to do, nothing too complicated. Complicated there. Now the next thing would be the red uh, solids, which. One is, I believe one is actually a uh, cover overlay. Okay, they both are. Okay. Yeah. So each one are solids, uh, essentially. Like they're basically, I can actually show you. Oops, that's, that's a, that is a, that is a masking. I not want to do that. Uh, hang on, click out of there. Okay. Yeah, this basically is what this is. 
um, what I did is I made two of these on each side and then I believe I made them a different color so this is red and this is blue um, and what I did afterwards is I hang on I should bring it up so I used a, a, a one of the things in After Effects that allows me to have that audio uh, visual el element is audio spectrum and audio spectrum put it into that you don't see it but as soon as I talk, the I can change the colors. So that's why you see uh, different colors here. Uh, but I turned it to red for Clawmaster and blue for Eli. And I didn't do much other than expanded the when he's talking. You see how A, it's more glowing. And B, it's a bit more uh, out there in regards to the, the lines. I made sure that it's much more apparent that whenever somebody's talking that it's very visually uh, obvious because prior to this, if you just put the audio clip with, uh, with audio spectrum, you're only going to see maybe like that by default. And I'd rather make it obvious in terms of who's speaking. Uh, so I expanded, I expanded the uh, the frequency bands, uh, the, and the maximum height, and therefore you see this back and forth much more visually, uh, visually I won't say imp impressive, but visually better than if it was by itself. And back and forth they go, they talk, they talk, they talk. Nothing really too complicated other than that. Just a few things, make sure the glow was happening. I think the glow. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was the outer glow. Yeah, I put that on here. Yep. Put it to screen. Yeah, so did the same thing for these two. Just to make it more... Uh, make it more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Make it more cool. <laughs> or... Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure. To me, it looks cool. Like, in terms of, like, what... What exactly I'm, I'm going for. It's just, like... Without it... Hang on. Yeah. Thank you, After Effects. I found it. This is what it looks like. Kind of bland, honestly. Now it's cool. <laughs> I can't really explain it other than the fact that it just visually looks better, honestly. Almost like a visual night show or at a nightclub type of deal. But uh, yeah, I believe. And then. Okay, so then the thing, this. Okay, so. This is where I had to pull my video editing card out here or uh turn it in and i guess in some aspects um so basically at this point this uh part of it some of it was me some of it was not so obviously the effects of uh this turning um was something i got from uh, a website i subscribed for elemental elements shout outs to you guys you guys have been awesome and uh, that I input it into the into the video because I was looking for something that represented the again the Iron Man schematic scanning type of deal and that was exactly what I was looking for um, and this is something that worked with me because then not only was I able to to uh, showcase the uh, the character art but I can also input this uh, I believe this is a mask hang on uh, hang on come on there you go okay so this uh this effect was a mat i want to say it was a mat tool or uh was that a mat tool i believe it was just an effect i found online on, on the same site um that i because there was a matte version and there was a regular version and it was transparent so i think it was just simple like op, uh turn at the start put it on and at the at the tail end put it off the opacity from zero to 100 type of deal or 100 to uh, zero um let me check i want to double check just one just to be sure yeah 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 basically <laughs> um so yeah it was it was a, it was an effect that i found online and it was something that i put on top of the picture to have a much more unveiling of the picture in terms of what is being shown uh, one of the other things I should know is this part 
like it reminded me of the X-Men for some reason in terms of how they unveiled or like you know the opening sequence when it came to the movie like the you, you zoom in and there's the the, the X that forms from the center and then it, it scans your the screen and then opens up to the movie so this was kind of inspired this type of idea in terms of unveiling Clawmaster's character art um, so and then this was included with the with with the it was, the whole thing was included with the with the video package that I got from Elemental Elements so um, yeah I can't really take much credit for that other than you know I manipulated a few things and made it work uh, but yeah nothing else to say there other than yeah it looks cool looks awesome um, so yeah so let that that is not the effect so then I I then edited a bit more in Premiere Pro which I will open up here and show you what I did there with this video well uh, as I was looking for my file I had the file but the timelines missing so I have no idea why that's happening anyways well what I can tell you exactly what I did on top of whatever I did with the edits and after effects was basically um, I zoomed in on the picture and on the last picture as you see here in the clip as it goes on behind me and basically zoomed in for a brief period showing just a bit showing a bit more of the model rather than just a, a flat screenshot rather than just like a, a zoom in on the torso on the head and just to get more details regarding like what exactly it looks like that and I added the cell phone as you see here uh, notification that you normally see on a iPhone or on an Android and so on and subtitles which again I got them from Cap Capwing uh, which has been again a great help to me getting these videos done in subtitles but that's about it in regards to what was added and what was edited for the video so hope you enjoy these behind the scenes looks it was a lot of fun making them and it was a lot of fun kind of diving into, you know, what I can really do with an episode from scratch and trying to figure figure things out from there. So, uh, with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for episode four.